In this lesson, we will get our rig ready for animation. Let's go ahead and play back the animation of the arms, and let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So, again, it looks very creature-like. How exciting. And remember, it's just a matter of taking what we've done on the left side, and go to one of those bone objects, head back to the motion panel, go to the rotate Z, right click and choose properties, copy everything we have here, go to the opposite bone and go ahead and paste all of that in, and there we have it. We need to also make sure of course that we assign our molt variable, but other than that the steps are really simple. Alright, good stuff. So this is where we just go through and start checking everything. We can check our controls to make sure that they have been locked down and the properties that need to be locked. So for example, this arm control here, it shouldn't scale, but it should move and it should also rotate. Alright, fun stuff. We could also check things like our custom parameters. Let's go ahead and move the elbow around. That looks really nice. Let's go ahead and check the other side. Great stuff. All right, we can check the clavicles. Let's make sure they're moving just fine. And again, you just want to go through and double check all controls that way. Then we can head over to the layer manager and start hiding things that animators should not see. So the first thing I'll do is go ahead and hide the model so we can keep track of everything we're about to hide. So let's hide the hidden layer. That looks good. How about the IKs? Great. And then once we made sure that all of those objects are in those layers, we can then go ahead and hide the envelope layer to hide the skeleton. Now let's go ahead and bring back our model. We'll make sure it is frozen, so it's very easy to select our control objects. And now all we need to do is go in and grab all of our controls and create a selection set. I'd highly recommend that you work with selection sets because it's a very fast way of grabbing all of your controls to lock down poses. So with everything highlighted, we'll head over to our selection set menu at the top. Again, with everything selected, we'll go ahead and click on create new set. Let's go ahead and name this game boss underscore controls. Sweet. So if we expand this, here are all of our controls a part of this set. Now if you ever need to remove an item from the set, it's just a matter of selecting the set, going in and grabbing the object to remove, and then you can click on remove here at the top. And now the back control is no longer a part of that set. If you need to add it back, again you grab the set, grab the object, and choose add. Sweet. Alright, so there we have it. We've managed to kind of clean up our control rig, so now it's ready for us to animate, which is super cool. And we can get started with that in the following lesson. So I'll go ahead and just close out of our layer manager here and just take a look at all that we've done in our lesson so far. Good stuff. So let's say we go ahead and get started on the animation process. That's the last section before we finish up and then I'll also show you how to export your animations out and get them ready for your game engine.